Right, welcome back. Uh, Gaijin have lent me this. Is it? Is it the buy? I think it's the B I B buy B. I'm not sure. They've, let me just hide that for a minute. They've uh, lent me it for 14 days. <coughs> so I've got this for 14 days. Uh, so we'll go for a test drive in a minute. I've got other things as well. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, so yeah, two minutes of fuel, 90 bullets, um, but the climb rate is an astonishing 19,000 feet per minute. Now, I don't know what that is in meters per, meters per second, but if you compare that to the other rocket plane, which is uh, Key2, Key200, it's 200, twice the climb rate of a Key200. It's not as fast as a Key200, but it's got twice the, the climb rate, which is quite astonishing. Um, it does come... Where are we? It does come with a, a skin, but I don't uh, I don't have it. Uh, you've got to shoot down 430 planes with it. I, I don't know if that will be with the event or not, I don't know. But uh, you get a grey skin as well, but I don't have it. Right, I've also got a test drive for the Macava as well. The Mark III. Um, but that won't be in... If I go here, it won't be in the it won't be in the list yet, so I won't be able to use that. But um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so I've got the Macava for fourteen days as well. <coughs> fourteen days, um, and we I think have been given. Uh, I've been given the the half track. So uh, I've actually been given this. Um, it's not too bad. Um, the the rounds, Panzer Grenada armor piercing, which is thirty one millimeters at five hundred meters, and you get a solid shot, which is a bit more. But uh, the the reload rate is three point five seconds. Eh, it's a, it's a rank one. It's not too bad, and also I think it's the German. Yeah, is it Lerbeck or Lu It's not Lubeck, is it? Is it Lerbeck? I'm not sure. So I've got um, I've got a boat or a ship, Lerbeck, whatever that is. Um, but yeah. So I've got a couple of test drives. Um, I'll just uh, I'll just go for a quick test flight. It says one one minute there, but it is actually two. It is actually two minutes. Right, I'll shut the window and I'll I'll just I'll just stay quiet for a bit. Uh, put my throttle to full. I've got one minute fifty seven seconds, so I'll turn the engine on and I'll be quiet for a bit. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, it actually sounds like a rocket. It actually sounds like a rocket, but you can you can see the climb rate is crazy. I mean, that's meters. <laughs> so you can roughly get to ten thousand feet or three thousand meters in about a minute, and then if you just go to thirty percent or even less, less than thirty percent throttle, you can save fuel a bit. Um, now I figured that anything under five, well, anything under five hundred kilometers an hour, the plane turns fairly well. Um, but uh, if you go any faster than this, it'll, the elevator just doesn't work. The roll rate's quite, quite good. Um, let me just see. So if I go to seven hundred, I mean it's so quick as well. If I go to 700, I'm fully back on the... Th you can see I'm fully back on the stick. Nothing happens. Hardly anything happens. So... Yeah. Anything over 500, the elevator... Well, 550, the elevator works. And anything more than that, it just locks up. 
If I go into a dive, seven to eight hundred. I'm fully back on the stick. Nothing's happening. So uh, you got to be careful. Like, if you're diving on something, just uh, just don't. But yeah, the the bloody engine sat well. The, the motor sounds like an actual rocket. Um, unfortunately, the one six threes and the key two hundreds still sound the same. So. Yeah, so, um, I'll go and find a game and I won't, we'll have a bash in it. Right, so, this airfield is flashing. To try and take off. Yeah, so I've... I've tried... attacking bombers, but, um... It is, it, it's too difficult to attack a bomber, because if... If you, if you dive on a bomber... And you have to make a course correction, and you're diving. You you, you just can't do it because the elevator doesn't work. So you can't actually. Yeah. Uh, what's that over there? There's something here as well. Um, yeah. So you don't have enough ammo to attack a bomber. And if you dive on a bomber, you can't really change. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a bit tricky. This. It's a bit tricky. Well, there's a plane, it's just, a, just appeared in existence. There's a plane there, look, that's a 262. So, the first German rocket 262 is in tier 5 now. The thing is, I don't want to go too fast or else I won't be able to turn. That might be an enemy bomber if that 262 didn't attack him. Right, so that is a 262. That could be an enemy bomber as well, that could be a 264 maybe. Or a grave. Yeah, it could be a grave. Well, we're going to ignore that because it's just pointless attacking a bomber. This is a 262. But as I said, if I go too fast, I can't fight with him. So you got to keep in the. Uh, got to keep in the combat envelope. See, I'm going too fast now and I can't pull up. Surely this cat is supposed to be like this. Oh, yeah. I can catch him, but if I catch him by going really fast, I can't. I can't aim at him. It's very limited plane. Very limited. So if I put my boost on, I can catch him. But if he changes correction, I can't do anything about it. So I can definitely catch him. But uh, if he if he if he sees me or hears me, I'm here. Could be. Oh well. Hit him. But now I'm stuck going straight because I can't actually manoeuvre. I don't know if he's going down or not. So I can't... <laughs> I'm stuck going straight. There's no air brake. Okay. This might be a bot. Try again. It must be a bot because he's not doing anything. Right, I do uh, hit the red line rather quickly. I've got 30 cannons left. Yeah, so this really needed bigger cannons, didn't it? I don't know why it didn't get them. So it was a player. It was a C version as well. Yeah, so with that elevator situation, it's... Uh, it's 
It's an incredibly difficult plane to uh, to manage. Kaduki. Plane is so uh, wobbly. Whoa! Look at this. It is so wobbly. Unresponsive. No, well, we did we did land, but we crashed a bit. It's um, it's not very nice. <laughs> Okay, airfield flashing, and yeah, there's an enemy over the airfield. I just saw him disappear. Yeah, there he is there, look. Oh, it's a bot, I think. Yeah, it's a bot. There's a bot over the airfield. A couple of planes. So even with 29% throttle, I'm still going bloody 460. I'm just trying to find that enemy. The AAA is shooting. Oh, well, it's that one there. Look, that's the bot, and now I can't turn around that well because. Oh, let's have a go. See, now I'm going too fast to actually turn. I'm pretty sure this is a bot, but... I'm trying to go as slow as I can. No, no I can turn. This is definitely a bot. So you just got to blip the throttle when you need the extra power, I guess. I'm sure I hit him. I'm, I'm sure that was a hit. Okay, so yeah, the bot is doing negative G's. So I've got no throttle and I'm still going fast. Okay, Let's see what we can do. A bit, of, a bit of a boost, just a little bit of boost. Turn it off. Yeah, it's got to blip the throttle, I guess. Nope. There we go. It was a bot, but uh, I've used up most of my ammo. So even the bots are strafing the wrong way. Yeah, so what I've got is I've got zero throttle. I've got a button that I press to go to maximum. Um, if you look, oh, I can't really show you, but uh, in my throttle axes, I've got a button set f so that when I press the button, it goes to maximum thrust. So you just got to, I guess, you just got to blip the throttle every now and then. Like a turbo button. Um, Right, okay, let's see what else we can do. Okay, I'm just going to land here. Uh, there is a dot over there. That's probably a bomber. I wonder if I could land and then zoom up to catch him before I... Uh... Yeah, that's definitely a bomber. I wonder if I can land and then zoom up and catch him.
This plane refuses to slow down. Refuses to slow down. But uh, yeah, there's a bomber up there. He's coming this way. Yeah, so it, it's really flirty when you try and uh, land as well. It just doesn't want to slow down. Well, I'm just have to put. Uh, Everything. Yeah, don't want flaps. So there is a bomber up there, but well, right, let's just do that. That's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Look at. I wonder if I can catch up to him after I take off. If I don't get blown to bits. Where is he? Oh, he's already on fire. So we'll try and attack him. Um, he's obviously going to respawn. Um, I might have just been... no. Triple A is shooting in the right direction. We'll wait for him to respawn and then we'll see if we can attack him. Okay, so Triple A got him. Um, what we'll do, we'll wait for him to respawn and we'll see if we can find him. Because he'll probably come back to the same airfield. You'll probably take off from here or something. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's have a drag race. Someone's just spawned in. Let's have a drag race. We'll see if he starts his engine up. I'll give him a head start. And here we go. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, we'll go and try and find a bomber. No, I don't know if that's going to have a lot. So, yeah, the problem is. It's so difficult to dive on something because you're going so fast. This might be friendly, I'm not sure. Uh, or it could be a 264. Yes, yeah, 264, but as you can see, I've got my. I'm full back on the stick. I cannot actually aim for him. Yeah, this is a, this is a grave. It's uh, it's really difficult, and he's probably going to shoot me before. I did hit him, I think, but uh, his magic bullets will always get me. So yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, is it? It's easy to catch, but it's hard just to just to see him. No, I hit him again. I wonder if I can get in front of him and get a head on. But now I've only got 50, 50 minutes. Yeah, so it, as I said, it's it's uh, you can dive on stuff, you can catch stuff really easily, but you can't make adjustments with the air, with the elevator because it just doesn't work. I've got 42 cannon shells left. We'll try anyway. You have to be incredibly lucky to uh, catch him. Right, I've got my booster on again. But as I said, you'll, there's nothing I can do because he knows I'm here now. 18. And with his magic uh, Logitech, it's it's difficult. So if this had if this had 37s, it would be useful, but it isn't. Guide on me. 
it's not useful at all. And he's probably making a course correction himself. So I've got 18 bullets left. As you just don't have enough bullets to take out a bomber. Well, you, you've got one. You've got one big bullet, I suppose. So if he's looking at his uh, gun sight, it's not going to be... See, I've hit him with most of my passes, but you just don't have enough bullets to take him out. I mean, I've got one big bullet, but... I suppose that could be useful. Yeah, he's already dropped his bombs, it's already too late. He's already shooting at me. So he will be dead soon. But yeah, you don't... You, oh, I got credit for it, I suppose. Yeah, the Jade out, oh, I got credit for it. But yeah, you're not going to stop bombers. <laughs> um, I'll go and land again and we'll try, we'll try one more go. But yeah, it's... Um, it's an interesting plane. It's a very fast accelerating plane, but that's about it. So yeah, I would have I'd go if I was playing the game now I'd be in the MiG MiG nine. And I'd be hunting him down like a relentlessly. Alright, if this is the, the Grife we'll go for a head on. Yeah, it is. We'll try and get a head on, but... We'll try and get a head on. But as I said, because I've got no elevator, it's so difficult just to... Just to get... Oh, it's not a head on either. Well, we'll, we'll try. We can only try. No, no, that was... We did actually do it. We did actually do it. So the only way to... <laughs> the only way to do it is to risk a head on. And go for the cockpit. And that's the only way to risk it. Is he going to shoot me with his rear turret, even though it's not attached? No. Okay. Follow me. Oh, I was going to go back, but I was... That's a 262, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Check six. Can I catch this dude? Got 54 bullets. I can catch him, but uh, whether or not he sees me, I don't know. It's a different matter altogether. Oh, he was chasing something. Oh, he's about to shoot our surveillance. Right, so we've, we've proved one thing. This can catch anything. It can literally just climb up and just say hello. Um, but it can only do it in a straight line. It can, <laughs> it can only do it in a straight line. So, I, I don't know, it's... Um, it's something you, you you really need to manage the, the throttle and your speed and your uh, ammunition trigger discipline um, but it is uh, a bit crazy 
Right, so I don't know how to explain this plane. It's, uh, I mean, you can understand that it can't turn very well because it's a rocket. I mean, rockets don't really, t you know, if you see a rocket, it tends to go straight, doesn't it? Um, I wonder if because you've got your rocket on, that in inhibits your ability to turn as well because you've got so much thrust pushing you forwards that it's going to be hard for it to turn. So maybe you've got to turn the engine off. I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, if you put an elevator on, on a rocket, it's not going to do much, is it? Well, over time it would, but not really, yeah. So, yeah, what I've... Uh, let me just show you. Controls. Where's my... Axes. Main axes. If I go to the... Throttle axes. I've got a button that I set for maximum value. So, when I hold the button down... It, it it goes to to full. So uh, theoretically, you could you could have the throttle at zero while you're dogfighting, and then just press it when you need it. You know, like a blip blip button. But uh, yeah, it, it is weird. Um, the climb rate is is phenomenal for a tier five. Um, so it will catch anything, but as long as it's going in a straight line. <laughs> Oh uh, dear, yeah. If I had, uh, had a 37 instead of 220s, it'd be quite nice, but yeah. Anyway, this is just a quick look. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.